take, take a look at our pioneer player of the game. And it's a man that sat for a long time but came in to get the winning touchdowns. And that's Kellen Clemens. Great job tonight, Charles. Yeah, Kellen Clemens deserves this. A one for six start when he was in the ball game earlier. Was benched for a while for Jason Fife. Never hung his head. Was prepared if he got another opportunity and came into the game when they were down 17 to 7 and brought them back for a 21 to 17 victory. Congratulations, Kellen Clemens. You deserve it. And he's with Craig Sager. All right, Kellen. First half, you're one for six. We think you're through for the night. What were you doing? When did you find out you're going back in? Uh, on like second down of the last defensive stand, I found out I was going back in. Um, for the rest of the game, when I was out, I just tried to keep my head in it, supported Jason. The offense was out on the field and just tried to stay ready if I got the opportunity to come back in. How did you get your confidence back? It never left. I was one for six. It didn't go away. What about that key play where Kyle Witherspoon picked it up on the reflective pass? Hey, it's about time we get a bounce. We've had some bad bounces. Kyle made a great play. We'll take it. How tough is it to start as a quarterback, then be replaced, and try to keep your confidence going? Uh, it's tough, but I knew my teammates had confidence in me. My coaches had confidence in me. That helps my own confidence as well. Terrific job. Thank you. Right. All right, Craig Sager, Oregon goes to six and four on the air. They're even their conference record at three and three. Great job. The final score, 21-17, the Ducks over the Golden Bears. Now it's time for the Chick Quattro postgame report with Ernie Johnson and Brian Bosworth. All right, thank you, Ron Thulin. And the celebration continues in Eugene, 21-17, the Ducks over the Golden Bears. It is indeed time for the Chick Quattro postgame report.